There we go. <laughs> hi, you guys. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. It's me and Kat. It's Kat's Wednesday off our monthly sale. Either the first Wednesday or the second, depending on Kat's schedule. So, anyway, Yeah, and I, I actually fun. work the next two Wednesdays because I had to change my schedule because I'm going to Birmingham, Alabama next weekend. So this is my only Wednesday off all month. What's in Birmingham? Are you going to a show or? So, no, it's really cool. A viewer who actually recently just found me, um, her mom passed away, unfortunately, and she inherited the house and her mom was an avid collector of everything. And her mom's house sold in two days and she didn't have time to have an estate sale. So she asked if I would like to come look through everything. So I am driving to Birmingham, Alabama. What is that about eight hours? Yeah, like seven, seven and a half. Seven Not yeah. too bad. <laughs> oh, well, I'm chinging to start the show. Hey. All right, you guys. So those of you, most of you know how this works. There's everything that we need. Let me switch my name real quick. Um, let me think how to do that. I want to put my email instead of, you know, my name. <laughs> hi, hi, you guys. Hi, hi. Let me get to Greg, it. Greg, that is a new feature. That is a new feature, Greg. So it doesn't, what sucks is it doesn't highlight in StreamYard, but you get like a highlighted chat in the chat. Like Yvonne, if you go look at YouTube, uh -huh. you'll see that Greg showed like he, they, every month, if you're a member of somebody's channel, you get yeah. a highlighted message, but it doesn't go through to StreamYard that it's highlighted. It was me oh. cha-chinging, Ray Ray. I had two cha-chings. I'm fixing to go get YouTube, as a matter of fact. Let me put myself on mute because when I, I can't mute it, pre-mute it. Okay. Pat will talk to you for a second. <laughs> I will talk to you. So I just sold some Little Mermaid collector plates, of all things. Um, and Gina Dale, DLJ from PA, helped me pick these out. I drove her crazy. I sent her tons and tons of pictures of glasses because I have not had glasses in eight years, eight years, I've only worn contacts. So like if something happens to my eyeballs, I would be SOL. And so I decided to get some glasses and I, yeah, Dale helped me get these. I like them. And when I get my hair redone and it's the bright purple instead of the muted, it should match really, really good. Really good. Yeah. I already told her they were super cool looking to me. They're super cool. Now I need like purple lipstick. I need purple lipstick. I got a new ring too. Do you see my new ring? Got it in the mail today. Oh, that's cute. What kind of stone is that? I don't know. That's I don't cute. know. I'm still keeping an eye out for a small little turtle or dolphin. I think that's what you said. I have you a wanted. little fish one. I yeah. have a little fish one. Or for a pendant or a, a for, ring? For a pendant. This was a while back we talked about it. Because I got a little ring in, but not a pendant. Okay, let me edit my name real quick and put in my... Pat, uh, Kat, you probably need to do that too. I think you did it last time. I don't know how. Okay, hang on. Talk to them about something else then for just a second. And I'll get that done. Okay. So hopefully you guys are excited. I have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff. I would like to know how many people do we have in the chat right now? 37? We have 36, 37. Oh, Greg picked up a John Perry dolphin. You know, the thing <laughs> that I used to pick up like almost every John Perry I found until I saw that John Perry was still making and he sells himself on eBay. And I yeah, was like, eh. I only pick up the vintage ones. He's remaking yeah. them, but he's doing them in different color palettes. Oh, thank you, yeah. Greg. Thank you. But I've only been collecting the vintage ones myself. Yeah. Yeah, I sent him an email, <laughs> so, but he didn't respond. Kat, what's your email? Um, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. Got it. 
yes, Gina, last night's live was great. I um, I actually booked uh, Amber and Drew on with me again. Yvonne, if I don't have you on, I need I need to book you because I'm booked out till May right now. It's been I'm a while. like way booked out. I'd like to come back on. It's been a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got to set up. So unless you guys have any questions, we'll go ahead yeah. and get started. Yeah. Whoever, whenever. Okay. You want to go first? You want me to go first? Um, I, I can go. Okay. All right. Coming in. Hi, hi, you guys. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Okay. Let's see. Um, I want to start with this because some of you were pretty excited about it when you saw it in my thrift with me video. Oh, let me say Greg will be our shot caller. Okay. He's the one that will put in item clothes and whatever emojis he's in the mood for today. Oh, okay. Yvonne, Greg, go over the rules, go over the rules. Okay. Greg Rocky mountain resale. His name is Greg. Um, the rules are, we'll start with a, suggested opening price okay to offer for this item and you all can put in your offers until we decide to say going once going twice last call something like that if you are an active bidder on that particular item you can put in a just in case during those going once going twice last call and until in the few seconds until greg puts in item closed in the chat, okay? He's gonna wait a few seconds to cover the lag for everyone to try to be fair. This is what we've learned works the best. So when he puts in, you know, item closed and we are done and, you know, we'll read it and make sure we all agree on who, who gets that item. And on the scroll, you'll see the information that we need if you're new, YouTube name, your real name, okay? <laughs> to go with your address, your full complete address, zip code too, please. And um, it helps if you put an item purchase, but I, we both keep notes. It just helps me in my email because I do get a lot of other emails from thrift with me videos where people are trying to catch something before it goes to a sale or before it like goes on eBay or to my booth. But I'll scroll that along the bottom every once in a while. Okay. Hi, hi, Kitty Corner. Hi, hi, Kara. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? We'll get started. You need turtles. I have brought two turtles tonight, although I have a lot, but I've been trying to space them out, but I have a lot of turtles. So um, I, I do, wait a minute. No, this is a frog. I have one turtle. <laughs> this is a frog. Duh. Okay. There it is. You guys saw me get this. It's super cute. I wouldn't exactly call this a Murano piece does have somewhat of a smooth pontal disc there. The Milli Fiori, though, is not Murano quality, but it's still cute. Someone did a good job on this. So you guys saw me buy this for $3.99, so we're going to start it at 5 Excuse me. I'm going to give you some dimensions, okay? It's about six and a half this way and should be fine for any kind of shelf clearance but in case you've got a special project in mind almost three inches that way it's it's a hefty little thing it's going to be priority okay <laughs> but it's cute there's the millie fiori in it and it's got like blue confetti swirl inside for not being a italian venetian murano piece whoever did it did a good job i think and there's his little eyes. So we've got Miho jumped right in at 15. So we're looking for 16 or more. His little eyes. The color of the eyes is cased inside too. The Millie Fiori, the flowers, million flowers, is uh, or a thousand flowers. I'm not sure what Millie is right off the top of my head. Um, they're in case too, and then you can see some of the blue. That's all inside. There's the smoothed out pontal disc. <laughs> He's a cutie, right? Definitely. Okay. So Miho's at 20. So we're going once. We're going twice. And last call. So you've got a few seconds until Greg puts it in for y'all, and then we'll be done and call the, the new owner.
Thank you. I just did them. I just redid them this morning for y'all. Okay, item closed. Let's see who we have. I think it's Miho. I'll let Greg call that. Yes, thank you. Okay, Miho, thank you. Got putting your name on it, and I'm bringing in Cat. All right, guys. I whoa! I sold out of these um, when I did my live sale, and I actually found more when I went back to um, George the Antique Nomad's estate sale. Most of this is from George's estate sale that I have tonight. So this is a little miniature watercolor painting. And it is signed. This is hand done. And you can see how tiny it is. And these are so cool. Um, so this one, I'm going to start at five. It's got like the trees. It's got the mountains. It's in a silver frame. These are vintage. It's probably about two by two, maybe a little bit bigger. So I'll start it at five. I sold out of them on my channel at 10. Um, and yeah, this one is the same artist of the ones that I got. Susan, you're here. Susan Susan bought most of them on my channel. Um, I see Erica at 10. And then actually, I'm going to I'm going to make this a little bit sweeter. I'm going to make it a little bit sweeter. I'm going to throw in another miniature. This one I don't I don't know if it's hand done. Um, this one says Suzanne. And it's another little tiny one with the mountain. And then it says where it's at. It says Mount St. Vittori, Aixen, Aixen province. So I am going to do both of them for this bid. You'll get two for whatever the bid is. I see Erica at, now I see, I saw Mimi's 15 first, Miss Susan. So I can't make them even. <laughs> so it'll be the two little minis together. Hey, Sunny, thanks for coming in. I see Erica at 20 right now for the high. And again, this one, I don't think is hand done. It might be, but I don't think so. But this one is definitely hand painted. I see Miss Susan at 21. And this is little. Miss Susan, did you get your other ones? Miss Susan bought a lot of them. They're really, really nice. I don't know how somebody paints that tiny. On this little bitty frame but they do <laughs> it's cute yeah they're they're really really cute this lady had tons of like little miniatures this one's definitely the cooler one all right so i see miss susan at 21 i'm going ahead and count down and i don't i don't think i have any mini tropicals we did we did when i did um my live haul um paul zazan is who the artist is uh gina is helping um, so I'm going to go ahead and count down. I have Miss Susan at 21 going once, <laughs> going twice and sold. So we're looking for 22 or item closed from Greg. Su no, Erica, I think four people got them, but Susan got like eight of the 12. Susan got eight of the 12. She did get most of them. Yeah, they're super cute. Okay, so Susan Mini Paintings 21. Miss Sandy's not here helping me. I hope she's okay. See, Erica got two. That's two, Erica. That's not all, but she did she did get most. Okay. okay. Perfect. I'm coming in then. Yvonne's turn. Hi, you guys. That was super cute. Um, I'll bring out the turtle. This is the one turtle I brought today. It says hand handcrafted in Italy on the bottom. It is made of stone. Schmid Brothers. I'm not bleeding. That's red magic marker. <laughs> so usually I get a couple items in before there's pen marks all over me, but we're just going to cut to the chase this time, I guess. So it's a stone little trinket box. Let me come in close so you can see the color variations of the stone. Coffee, mocha, butterscotch. There he is. Start him at five. Let's 
some kind of mark on it. I think that just says 20, so I didn't try to look it up. It's got a little bit of weight to it since it is stone. Super cute trinket. I ran my fingers across. I don't feel anything, you guys. I don't feel anything wrong with the, what holds the lid in place. Got them a little tail. So some kind of carved alabaster marble. Wait a minute, let me show you this. It looks like it's got a little quartz streak in it across the underside. I'm not good at the stone stuff. Some of you are, are though. And then the bottom's polished a little bit. And I'll show you again what it says on the label. Let it focus. Handcrafted in Italy expressly, expressly <laughs> for Smid Brothers. Okay. Where are we at here? Jackie S at five. So we're looking for 16 or more. Going once. Going twice. And last call. So we're looking for 21 or more until Greg puts in item closed. Super cute. A little bit of carving on his face. So it's, so there's a, like a mouth and eyes and a nose. A little bit on his feet. <laughs> Item closed. Jackie, you did it, girl. Between you and Cindy, you did it. Cindy, I've got more turtles. I'm, I'm doing a critter. We're going to do critters again real soon. Okay. You ready, Miss Cat? Yep. Oh, I meant to grab a tape measure. I have... Thank you, Jackie. This really cool serving tray. I think it's a reproduction, but I think it's a vintage reproduction. You can see like the tape or the tape, the paint is flaking off, which I think, I think is cool on these vintage pieces, like where it naturally has fallen off. I'm going to start this at five too. I actually, I just got this at the thrift store yesterday and it's just too big to put in one of my thrift boxes. It's not super heavy, but it's really, really cute with like the cracked there on it. It says serving tray by once upon a rose is what it says. And it's probably, I would say 18 inches by 12 inches. And now it's upside down. And it, yeah, it's like wood wood. It's not um, like plastic or anything. I like the natural paint fading. Hello, yo, so boho. Is anybody interested in this one for five? I'm just starting it at five, which is right at what I paid for it. It rests on my head very, very well. Anybody, anybody? <laughs> at least I don't have to like hold it up. It's big enough. anyone if not i will i'll pick something else real fast i'm gonna set this down guys i'm gonna set this down if you want the tray just tell me and i am going to do i'm gonna do this it's early but i'm gonna do it this is really cute this is a mama elephant and a baby elephant with a monkey on top this is a teapot this is a teapot. Very, very cute. Oh, that's cute. It is really cute. It's unbranded. There was once upon a time a sticker. I see the MA made something. Uh, Miss Melissa, I don't know which Prussian painting you mean. I'm sorry. I get so much stuff. Um, so this one, same thing. I'll start it at $5. It does have one tea tiny chip, right? Right there, it's barely noticeable. It looks like it, it's right, ah, right there, right there. But it's really cute. I like elephants. Anybody interested in this little teapot for five? Anyone, anyone? Miss Melissa, you'd probably have to send me a screenshot in order for me to remember. I won't lie. I Cindy's see in at five. 
Yep, I see Miss Cindy at five. Um, you'd have to send me a screenshot because I got quite a few paintings from his, but I actually, everything from George's estate sale that was not sold already on my live haul, um, it was sent with my new lister today. So it is, it is headed to be listed on eBay within the next week or two. So I don't have possession of any of it. I can tell you and let you know when I list it, though. I see Robert Redman at six. Really cute. I think the monkey is my favorite part riding on top. And I see Lorray at seven. Really cute. George had some great prices, so I've got some really cool stuff tonight. And I see Cindy at eight. Hi, Jane. Hello, Miss Jane. All right, guys. I'm I have Miss Cindy at eight. I'm gonna go ahead and start counting it down. So if you were bidding, you can put a just in case and then or you can bid and going once, going twice and sold so we will wait for mr greg to call it all right and i see item close from greg i think i see cindy but greg's got to call it yeah he did that's what i see yeah greg okay. called it all right. I'm going to bring us both in for a moment. Is that okay? okay? Yeah. I just want to take a small break here before we continue on. Um, I want to, I want Kat to tell you guys, most of you already know, but just in case you don't, because she's only got a few spaces left. Go ahead, Kat. Tell them yes. about your camp. Yes. Yeah. So, I rented a mansion down in Orlando, Florida. It's a 14 bedroom mansion um, and I'm doing classes. So we are doing Friday to Monday and Saturday and Sunday are going to be eight hours of classes. And the prices that we're doing include all of your food. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, the whole time you're there. And I've got one bed left in the mansion right now. And it's a top bunk. So you need to be like, willing to climb and the price is discounted for it being the top bunk. Um, so there's one more bed left in the mansion. And then if you don't want to stay with us, you can get a hotel room and do classes only and come join us Saturday and Sunday for classes. And it's how to sell on eBay. We're doing it from beginning to end. George the Antique Nomad will be speaking. He will be staying with us the whole weekend as well. And Richard Ottenip Drop Flips is going to speak as well. So we're going to do like hands-on photographing, listing, pricing, sourcing, everything you can think of. And then I have two bedrooms. I, I, I rented a second house because we sold out of the private room so fast. So I have two private rooms left and a second house too. So I can, I'll type in the, um, I got it. My, my website that way you guys it, have it. I got but, it. I got it. You got it? Yep. I'm there. I'm going to put it up on the screen, too. Yeah, yeah. We can share it and look at the rooms that are I'm going to share there. right now. So let me think how to do this. Okay. We'll put both of us on the side. I'm going to do that and then share screen. I don't do <laughs> this very often, so y'all just hang on. <laughs> yeah. Kitchen corners, it. right? Not be afraid of heights. Not be afraid of heights, for sure. Chrome tab. The nurse flipper share. Oh, look at me go. There it is, girl. Yay. Yeah. So all those top three rooms are in the second house that I added on. And the last room in the mansion is the one right there on the, the right, the Star Wars room. But the house is absolutely amazing. The house is amazing. Uh, no, Greg, it's not women only. The bunk room is women only. 
because my channel's 85% women viewers. So the shared rooms I made women only, but there are two private rooms still left that can be for anybody. And I think several people are bringing husbands like that are in the private rooms. So you can add. And then if you, the breakfast add on, if you want, there are some of the sold out rooms. There are some awesome, awesome rooms. There are some cool Look at rooms. that one, so Sarah Getty Safari. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all of the rooms are themed around different countries. So it's pretty cool. And right there, you can't see it. So the wall behind the couches actually has a dolphin jumping. Oh, which yeah, I thought I was perfect. See it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and my husband is cooking. <laughs> my husband is doing the cooking for everybody that attends. Um, we're topping out at 25 people, so it's going to be really small, which is what I'd prefer, so we can kind of learn a little bit better. And, yeah, I think it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yes, I am going to try real hard. I hope you get to do it again. I just can't make this one, but I would. that would be yeah, so fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping either Tennessee in the mountains or – um, on the beach on the east coast of Florida. Okay. And then one more thing I would like to share, if you guys don't mind real quick. Let's, okay, I want to talk about Greg. <laughs> so, so I usually drop his YouTube, right? But he's, you know, not everyone pumps out YouTube videos, but you can follow him on Instagram. So here's his Instagram because he is pretty good about posting some epic and unique finds. So this is what I'm talking about with Greg. Can we, let me see if I can pull that up. Yeah, that one's like, crazy. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? So, you know, <laughs> let's see. And then this is the one we were talking about the last show. And I talked about it in one of my videos. Let me find it. Let me find the rub. Oh, this one. The rubber made. You guys, look at that. That happened. Greg doesn't lie. This happened. <laughs> so, anyway, you might want to follow Greg on Instagram because that's where you're really going to catch some good bolas. All right. Yeah, for sure. Let Greg, Colorado started. might be a little too far for me to drive and I'm a driver. I don't like flying. I don't like flying. I am going to do some kind of get together, not just for resellers, just anybody. I'm thinking of doing it yeah. in Denver at the Mile High um, Flea Market. I've been trying to do it for two years, but then the pandemic hit. So I'm just going to wait. There's not nothing as elaborate as cat with classes and everything. Just, hey, y'all want to meet up, have just some fun, hang out. Weekend, go to the flea market. You, whether you're a thrifter, a reseller, you're new, you're a YouTuber, whatever. And then if you want to stay another day, we'll go hit all the antique there's a strip of antique stores down on broadway in denver something like that so whenever the pandemic kind of settles down where i feel comfortable that we won't cause any problems to anybody so okay i think it's my turn right i think it's your turn all right you guys thanks for the intermission for us to give you that information hey you guys oh hey becky just came in hi hi tanya thrifty treasures hi hi Hi, you guys. Todd. Hi, Silver. Silver Stacker. Let me see. I'm coming to Denver the end of April to visit. Let me see. I want to show this, you guys. Where am I at here? There we go. This is what I'm going to show. Um, to visit my son. Yeah. Let me know. I, the eldest daughter lives up in Denver. So if you're on this if you're on this side of Denver, the south side, it only takes me like 45 minutes. So let's say hi to Todd. Hi, hi. Haven't seen you for a while. There's my girl, Tanya. Known her forever. One of our shot callers, but Greg's handling this one. And yeah, <laughs> Greg Rocky Mountain Resale for Instagram. You guys, you want to see some of these crazy flips. You really do. And there's Thrift Hippie. Hi, you guys. Hi, hi. Okay, here I go. I'm going to bring something in and pro tip you guys. Okay. Pro tip. Um, let's see. I've got glass fruits. I've got Murano bowl. I've got nesting hen. I've got some small Lucite grapes, just the small ones, a little bit of jewelry. 
a bunch of little tiny figurines just for like inexpensive add-ons. What do I want to do first? Oh, and I brought that pioneer woman that we all were like, wait, what? So I'm going to actually, let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Okay. Yeah. So I learned something new pioneer because you guys know I'm not a big fan of reselling pioneer woman or temptations. Um, and I've already ranted about why. Sorry if you like it. That's it's. I'm not, I ain't saying it ain't pretty. I'm not saying that at all. Other reasons. But I found this beautiful kimono. I always buy this kind of stuff. And I was like, what does that say? <laughs> and that is her. That is the way she spells her love. That's her font that they made for her. And then when I looked it up on eBay, sure enough, um, she does have some clothing. But apparently not all Walmarts carry it. I've never seen it at any of my Walmarts. Not that I go through the clothing a lot, but anyways, it's a really nice, most of the pieces are just kind of cheap t-shirts and stuff, but these seem to sell, resell online for anywhere from 25 to 40, depending on condition on eBay right now. This one is just a, says small, medium, I guess, and I would stick to that by the shoulders. The shoulders are about 17 inches. That's because that's about what I am. Anyways, I paid $4.99 because I just, I don't know, I just couldn't believe it. I said, well, this will be the one and only Pioneer Woman I buy and sell, but this is cool. This is actually a nice quality velvet. And then the boho tapestry. Yeah, it's not like just the plain t-shirts and leggings that she does as well. Anyways, it's not quite duster length, okay? It's going to be, I'm tall. And it comes a couple about six inches above my knees. But see, I'm almost six foot tall. You guys remember that. So let me see. On my Manny, Bianca's 5'7. Let me see where it hits. Okay. It hits her just above the knees, too. So this will cover the bobo. You want to wear leggings. We're just going to start it at five. Okay. This is a nice one for Pioneer Woman. Let me bring that. That's some nice velvet. I mean, it's not lined, but that's okay because it's not, the print inside is not horrible either. It's just a copy of that. Not horrible. So, and the Boho Brocade, this has a better name. That's just what I'm calling it. Um, actually is a good quality too. So, and it's on the arms, but I will, you guys, but I am going to call this a medium. I wear large. Let me see what it looks like. I'm tall. You guys, I know I'm somewhat thin, but I'm tall. I actually wear large and extra large, you guys. Yeah, that's about a 17-inch shoulder shoulder thing. So uh, we'll say this one size fits most. They don't even go to a large. I'm not large busted, but if you are, there's some room there. Covers the bobo, so you can wear leggings if you want and be comfy. Super soft and pretty colors. Wear it open or you can put a belt around it and that would be cool too. Anybody interested? My one and only Pioneer Woman and I will ever buy and sell unless I find another one of these. That's pretty cool. Super Michelle soft. at Mermaid Cove said five. I don't know if you saw that. I see it. I see that. So... They resell for anywhere from 25 to 40 on eBay, but I'm like, let's just offer it up here. Some of you were amazed just like me. I was hoping it was going to be Johnny was. That's the quality until, well, it's not lined, but from far away, um, that was the quality of the tapestry and the velvet. And I was like, oh, looky here. I'm going to fix and find me a double D ranch or, <laughs> or a um, Johnny was. But so here we go. I'll say it'll fit small, medium to large. And you could have a little bit bigger up here than me and still be okay. <laughs> okay, you guys. Yeah, this can be boho or lodge, western. There's a lot of different things you can do with this, or just if you're if you're into the artsy like the arts festivals and stuff. This fits a lot of different subcultures of fashion dresses. 
Yeah. I'm personally fond of this. This makes me think so late 60s, 70s, this kind of a tapestry trim. Okay, so that's enough about that. Going once, going twice. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. It's been a long, long time. Maybe when I when I was a lot younger. And last call. Last call for this. Let's see who was saying beautiful was. Um, yeah. So well, just so you guys know, there are some on eBay. So. I don't know where, I don't know what all Walmart sell them, but there's a couple on eBay. So you might find different sizings and she might've done plus size too. Isn't she a little, I mean, she's a, she's a little bigger than me, right? She's a little on the fluffy side, I believe. So it might be plus size too. Okay. That was fun. Kim. Okay, Kim. I gotcha. You ready, Kat? Thank you, Kim. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. There you go. All right, guys. This sold on my live sale or on my live haul, and nobody emailed me to claim it. So just a reminder, if you win something from us, email us to make sure you get it. So if you're here, I'm sorry. I'm auctioning it again. Auctioning it again. Um, this is a gorgeous Austrian crystal brooch. It is absolutely amazing. I think it went to 40 on my live haul. Um, I'm starting it at five. It does have made in Austria on the back. I'll see if I can get that to focus for you. Oh, I got it to focus, but it was upside down. There's your made in Austria on the back. Um, I'm going to start it at five. This is an absolutely, this is like a smoky, like gray green. And then the like Aurora Borealis pink. This is an amazing brooch. It almost I don't wear looks brooches. like an angel. It's, it's really, really pretty. And I'm surprised you... whoever won it did not claim it. Hold it with the tip up. Like that way? The other way. And oh, yeah, that back... way it does look like a little angel. Does the pin match, the back pin, to, to pin it that way? Uh, it could go up and down. Oh, yes. Yeah. That almost looks like an angel. But I That's mean, really it, technically, I think it's supposed to be like that, but. Yeah. Starburst, it's just maybe, or angel. That's really, nice. really pretty. Like, these are more like fuchsia on this end. Thank you, Sandy. I think that's Sandy. I know. I My love dogs. those glasses on her. It's really. This is just such a pretty piece. The buyer did not email me, guys. If I'm busy, I'm not tracking anybody down. If you don't, don't email me, then you lose it. Um, my hair is I so crazy. And so, yeah, they they won it on my live haul, and they never contacted me, unfortunately. So, really, really pretty. I see Miss Bobby at twenty. And I don't, I never comped it on eBay. It was just still sitting on my desk from the last live sale. And again, it is marked made in Austria. So it's definitely the Austrian crystals. It's so, it really is. It's like stunning. Like if you get the light and these are so smoky, the bigger ones are really smoky. My, it is my dogs. They got out of the yard and now they're on the shed porch. It is my dogs. They're like, we've spent thousands of dollars trying to keep them in the yard and they don't run off when we have 11 acres. I, we, we've like almost given up. We've almost given up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down. I have Miss Bobby at 20. So going once, let me turn it the angel way. Yeah. It looks like a halo almost on top of her head. Going twice. And last call, we're looking for more than 20 or uh, item closed from Greg. Yes, there are dogs and chickens on the porch right now, Miss Susan. Everything. All right, Miss Bobby got it for $20. Congrats.
That's really pretty. Okay. Some of you loved this in a very recent thrift with me video. And although I couldn't confirm it with anything, with any tags or anything, a lot of you said this was vintage, but I'm not going to say for certain. I do see some on Etsy where some girls have made some similar, but they aren't lined. They didn't line it like this one is lined. It was sold, but then I don't know the person I haven't heard back. So like, I'm like cat. I don't track people down and harass them or anything. I'm like, okay. So it has been, it had some scrapes on this side. And so it looks like it's been like repaired, like painted over with red, but it's not that obvious. That's looking really bright. It's not as bright orangey. It's more of a deep red. Let me see how I can fix that. <clears throat> oh, I know. Maybe this will help a little bit. It's just more of a deep red. So this starts at $20 if anybody. <laughs> no, Todd. <laughs> this is to put your silver stacks in. So this heart-shaped beaded purse, handmade, possibly vintage, it is fully lined and very clean inside and has snaps, two snaps, and very clean inside. So this would look cute hanging on a wall too. I don't, it's just adorable. It's more of a nice deep red than if it's showing up like an orangey red, it's just a nice true deep red. But I had it sold for 40, but I don't know if something went wrong. So I'm starting it at 20. Otherwise, I'm going to take it to the booth. Yes, they're beads. They're plas faceted plastic beads. Let me get it to focus. They're faceted. There we go. You can see some of the sparkle from the facets, just from the light. It's about what, an inch and a half thick and heart shaped. So Bobby's in at 20. Let's see the dimensions on that. The purse itself is about nine inches. The handle drop is eight, eight inches. <laughs> like I said, fully clean inside. Okay, going once. Going twice. So cute. And last call. It is so cute. <laughs> Happy Valentine's. It is so cute. If you had the cute little outfit or just put it on the wall and put something coming out of it. I hope it is vintage because that would make it even more awesome. I know they did a, whoever made this did a good job. There's just no tag in it. Bobby, it's yours for 20 and I'm excited for you to get it, girl. You and I have such similar tastes, and so I know you, you will take care of it and love it. Okay, Kat. Thank you, Bobby. All right. I got a purse, too, because I asked in the chat, and you guys said the pen and then the purse. So this I got at George the Antique Nomad sale. This is a really, really nice. This reminds me of, like, the Mola up top, but it's actually stitched. And, again, I'm just going to start it at 5 there's the bottom. The back is like a burlap. It does have like one little rust stain. I don't think this was ever used. Like the strap was folded inside of it new still. And this has this loop. So I think you like tie the strap where you want it. It's kind of different. And then it's got the little knots to close it on the front there to like loop it so it could 
It's really cute. It's really cute. But really, really pretty stitching there. The lady that um, ran or that George ran the estate sale from was like a world traveler. There was stuff from like all over the world in her house. So tons and tons of stuff. <laughs> That's okay. We can take a hard time. Any interest on this one starting at five? And it almost, like there's some, I think, almost hand stitching on this one. Anyone, anyone? All right, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch. Oh, Bobby said five. Okay. <laughs> Yes, it was an amazing estate. It was an amazing estate. Anybody else? I have Miss Bobby at five. And it's probably like 12 inches by 10 inches. Yeah, it was a great estate to go to. It was a really, really good estate. All right, guys, I'm going to count it down. Going once, going twice. And last call, waiting for Greg to call it. it. It does have amazing colors. This would look pretty just hung on the wall. I like it. I like it. All right, Miss Bobby, congrats. You're getting some good deals tonight. Good deals. Okay. It's me. Okay. Oh, I want to do this. This is fun. I'm saving up most of my loose site to do a loose site only, a loose site theme sale, but I pulled this piece for tonight. This is loose site dolphins with a with a loose site ball, not glass. I'm uh, 90% sure that's Lucite in there too. Super cute. The crystal ball moves around or Lucite. Y'all know I love me some Lucite and I bought quite a few pieces recently to do a Lucite lovers um, sale. Ah, keep some for myself, of course. So anyways, this one starts at $10. Super cute. The ball moves inside, frosted lucite, three dolphins on sea wave. Oh, sorry, Sean. Yeah, I'll talk about my necklace. Sorry. I got it from Kristen D. And then this moves. Super cute. Dolphins breed fortunes. I don't know, but I think they save people from misfortune. So it's about six inches tall for shelf clearance. <laughs> so, oh, I already started it at 10. Sorry. Super cute. It's about six inches this way. Let me know if you have any questions. Frosted Lucite. This is Lucite too. I'm almost positive. Three dolphins. I forget I have this awesome tool my friend gave me. Three dolphins on waves. Not doing a very good job on this one, am I? Sorry. These are waves. <laughs> Riding waves. I think, hi Heidi, I feel like it's a hard call for me, but I feel like I finally want to say that it's Lucite ball too, but I oh, can't really tell. It's a lot heavier. It could be glass. I don't know. 50-50. I, I was 90% sure, but now that I mess with it. 
See, normally I would tap it on my tooth lightly, but that's just gross. So that might be glass inside after all. Oh, you know what? Because that would be pretty hard to get Lucite to be able to reflect the screen with that kind of detail in, inside of this ball, wouldn't it? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, Gaylene's in at 12. Yeah, I think I better change that and say it's glass, but don't be mad at me if it's just... See, it feels colder than the loose side. So that's why I want to say, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a little heavier and it is colder. So I better change that to glass. And plus when I see such a sharp reflection of the computer screen inside there, I need to correct myself. The tooth tab. Yeah. <laughs> But I can't really do it with this piece. <laughs> Hi, Becky. This is glass inside. We've determined that's glass. It's really showing the computer screen really clear back to me. And it's colder than the frosted lucite. Six and a half inches tall. Three dolphins riding different heights of sea waves. Hi, Patty. Let me see where we're at. I think we're Gaylene in at 12. Where are we at? Yeah, okay. Gaylene's in at 12. Any other questions before I start counting it down? All the tips are good, okay? Their noses, all the fins, it's all good, I promise. That, 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 all the, yeah, it's all good. Hmm. Okay, going once. If you're an active bidder, you can put in a just in case. Yeah, someone put pads on the bottom. There's no signature there. I wish people would sign their cool stuff. You know it? Going twice. And item closed. So we're looking for 14 or more. Yeah, that's glass, isn't it? Looking for 14 or more until there it is. Item closed. Todd, you bought this. <laughs> That's the first time you bought something from me. The semi <laughs> I think, if I remember correctly from your videos, you're in Texas. I don't know if you still are. Okay, before I go back over, I need to do, do something real quick. I'm going to show this. Can you guys see it? Is it showing? This is an awesome necklace. Somebody wanted to see it. It's metal, silver, silver, and brass. It's got bumblebees on it and a couple of stones. It's an artisan piece. I got this from Kristen D. She usually sells purses, but sometimes she does jewelry too. Love it. 20 bucks. She had different designs. And she knows the lady that made these. It's only been about six months, so it's Kristen D. Kristen with a K. Um, she's on YouTube. Sometimes you might see her in my chat, but she's kind of busy too with her own sales. And so maybe she can get some more. Yeah, I'm I I'm all about the chokers, but yeah, I bought this off of her for twenty dollars. She kept one for herself that had something on it. But she had um, quite a few from this person. Just metal. $20 was a steal. Okay. Um, Todd, here's the information right there. I am Thrifty Rich Club for things for the sales and for if you see something on one of my Thrift With Me videos, this is how you contact me for that. Okay. And here's the information scrolling on the bottom of what to send, Todd. I'm talking to Silver Hair Stacker Todd. He has a YouTube channel too, you guys. All right, here comes Miss Cat. All right, somebody said they want to see a paperweight. I will tell you before I show you this one, I'm starting at $25 because that's what I paid. It's the only thing I'm not starting low. So this is Glass Eye Studios. It's egg shaped. It's got like a flower there with an air bubble in the middle. 
kind of hard to see. And then it's got the really, really pretty like peacock feather looking iridescent. And again, I paid 25. It was sitting on my desk. I hadn't listed it. I hope I didn't list it. <laughs> I'll have to check. Um, so this one I need to start at 25, which is what I paid if anybody's interested. I just thought I would offer up a paperweight. Now I'm going to go check my eBay because now I'm like, oh, did I list that? Um, I don't think I did. So if anybody's interested, I just would like to get, oh, Julie says 30. Okay. <laughs> 30 works. Now I got to go make sure I didn't. And this is Glass Eye Studios. Let me see. Okay. I'm good. I did not list it. I didn't think I did. Hey, Sammy. I love how it looks like peacock feathers. That's why I picked it up. Hi, Sammy. And then the flower. Yeah, yeah. I love iridescence, Gina, whether it's like vases or paperweights. I'm a big like iridescent fan. And you can you can kind of see the iridescence in this, but it doesn't come through very, very well. It's not on eBay, Julie. It's not. <laughs> You're good. All right, guys, if nobody else is interested in the paperweight, I'm going to go ahead and count it down for Miss Julie. So going once, going twice, and last call to get in, and we're waiting for Greg to call it. I can turn it with my hand. It's Yeah, it, this would be an amazing for like an adult's Easter basket or a teenager. This would be a really cool thing to put in there for sure. For sure. The dogs are barking elsewhere now. I hear them. Julie for 30. Yay. Congrats, Julie. It's it's gorgeous. Okay. I've got a piece of Murano. Um, some of you that watched my videos, remember I went to the private pic of my friend. Lori, Becky, and I went, and then when we were done, we passed it on to Sarah traveling buttons. And oh, cousin. I have stuff on the way to me now, too. I, I have stuff say, on the way. I was gonna mention that, too. I passed it on some local thrifters, and then she also called Cat because she had some dolphins and some tonala, so they worked out a deal for shipping. Anyways, this is one of the pieces that I bought. I bought two pieces of Murano. From her plus all that jewelry and a few other things some of you saw most of it i don't think you saw this i'm keeping the other murano and i'm going to sell this one this has some nice bulla conte with the controlled bubbles really nice i think it was an ashtray because the divots on the divots they put uh some ribbing but you know we're all using these for other things so I got a good deal on it. It's a pinkish purple. I don't know how it's coming across, but it's a pinkish purple color, actually, in person, leaning a little bit more toward the purple where it's thicker. Oh, she had so much good stuff. We bought a lot. I spent 170. Becky dropped 50. There was still stuff left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, we'll start this one at 20. It's nice, polished um, bottom pontal disc, nice and polished as you would expect Italian glass to be. So it's not marked by one of the famous designers, but I am going to say, I do feel confident to say that this is Venetian, Italian, Murano. I feel like it's, you know, from that area. Really pretty. I want, let me get my color, my color wheel and see if this will help. Let me get that, you guys. I don't know if it will help or if it's just going to change the color of the color wheel, <laughs> but oh, darn. Yeah. Okay. So see, it's a little bit deeper than pink. Let me turn this up. It's a little bit deeper than pink, but because it's like cased in, it's not a deep purple either. I don't know what else to say about it. Look, can we just call it lavender rose? 
Yeah, the execute the bullet conte is in, is great. That's definitely controlled. We've got some pinching going on here. Looks like a little pull here. Beautiful, nicely polished. You know, not cloudy. The disc was nicely polished and ground down. There's not even I don't even feel a flea bite on this, okay? So the other one's pretty too, you guys. It's kind of similar to this, but it's got that, it's got an iridescent sheen added to the inside. And I'm kind of like Kat and a lot of you. I love that oil spill, iridescent, pearlescent sheen. Those red dots are red Sharpie. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> so, so you can see a few different colors going on here. I don't know where we're at. Let me give you a measurement. Bobby's at 28, so we're looking for 29 or more. It's about seven and a quarter diameter. So we're looking for 30 or more. A few different shades of purpley pink rose going on. And sometimes it depends on the light. Like I've got a yellowish soft yellow ring light over there pointing up against to the wall and i see it's catching some of that you see how some of these clear tips are catching that yellow cast so depending on the lighting um the divots aren't big enough for a cigar but those of us that don't smoke we use them for other things makeup brushes artist brushes candy dish whatever not going to let this stuff go by the wayside. Okay, so going once. Sorry, I'm awkward tonight. <laughs> but a lot going on lately. You guys have noticed I only dropped one video in the last nine days. But it helps my daughter move. And then I'm organizing. And then I'm starting with the taxes. Okay, Todd. I, I'm going to. That's asking me to show or hide. We're going to have to drop that one okay <laughs> that's too much yeah <laughs> that's that's too much okay so where was i going twice and last call sorry last call greg will put in item closed You know how it is with you, Todd. You know how it is with um, YouTube. There's certain buzzwords that they caught. Like I don't even have that on my blocked words list held for review, and YouTube took it upon themselves to hold that for me. So okay, where are we at? Rocky Mountain values for thirty-one. Thank you, thank you. Is that Rocky Mountain? Is that you, Linda? Is that Linda? Up in Denver? Rocky Mountain Values. Is that, uh, Linda, is that you? I can't remember. Okay, bring it in, Kat. I'll write this down. All right. I love this. And a couple of people said they were interested. Nobody followed up. Um, from my live haul from Georgia's estate. This blanket is new and it is absolutely gorgeous. It has butterflies and roses and it says, let's see if I can get it. It's, it has like the whole live, laugh, oh, it's upside down. It has the whole live, laugh, love and it's like a fleece, really soft, but it is brand new. Live, laugh, love. I can't see what I'm showing you. I'm just scrolling the blanket really really pretty brand new never been used um it's let's see it doesn't say the side it's, it's polyester so i'm going to start this one at five two really it's pro it's four feet by i'd say four by five it's really really pretty really soft I see LaRae at five. Might get some of my hair, not on purpose. Yes, I love this live, laugh, love. Where's the, oh, it says live in the moment. 
live in the moment. What does it say? Laugh every day. Hold on, I'm digging. It's <laughs> like it's like fleece. It's not like long piled. It's just like fleece. It's really, really soft. And now my hair is like really, really a mess. It's just soft. It's, I mean, it's fuzzy, I guess, but it's not like long fuzzy. It's, it's really nice. It's really nice. I'm a blanket. I have a bunch of throw blankets myself. I like throw blankets. And then there's the love with all your heart. I have to look and see what you guys can see. But I can't see over the blanket. And then it's got the little like edging like that. But it's never been used. Uh, four feet by five feet, I think, Lorray. Like if you look my arm span, I think it's four by five. 48 by 60 is pretty common for the, um, yes, kind of like terry cloth. I call this fleece. I call it fleece, but it's like super soft. I don't, I don't know. All right. I see Miss Joan at 12. Look for the moment. I like it. This would be pretty over a couch. My hair is getting worse every time I lift that blanket up. I see Miss Joan at 15. Whatever it is, it catches my hair very well. Very well. Somebody is trying to buy the rest of my Ken Edwards Tanala right now on eBay. We're like going tit for tat because she, I told her to send me an offer last time and she did not. And she, they sold out. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and start counting down for the fleece blanket. It's four by five. Right now I've got Miss Joan at 15. So going once, going twice. And last call. Looking for 16 or more. Here I am. I feel like I'm playing peekaboo. <laughs> Tell me when you see item in, Yvonne, because I can't see anything. Yep. Looking for 16 or more. And there's item closed. Perfect. All Joan? right, Joan 15. Rogers, congratulations. Hmm. Okay, I'm coming. Okay. I brought a little blanket. <laughs> I just, I picked this up at the bins. You guys saw me with Becky and Melissa. And it's just a little tiny thing, but the, it is vintage. It's from American Greetings. But the reason I got it is so many people love their mushrooms, their pixies. Those are pixies or elves, right? Sitting on mushrooms and acorns floating on the water. They're fishing. They're on lily pads. <laughs> it's a piece of fabric and it says American Greetings on it. And then someone quilted it with some blue fleece on the back. I'm pretty sure this is vintage, but it's not in horrible condition. I soaked it overnight. It came pretty clean without losing its color. I would have to look up my Roman numerals. That's something I don't remember offhand. But there it is, if some of you know how to read it quickly, of the date. I'll hold it for just a minute. M-C-M-L-X-X-X-I-I or L-L. Anyways, look at these cute little pixies. So I couldn't leave this behind. Does it have an opening on top to put it to put something else in it, like a duvet or a pillowcase? No, but you could make, turn it into a pillowcase. No, this was hand done because I can see, you know, not perfect commercial stitching, but they didn't do too bad of a job. Anyways, <laughs> cattails, fishing, little pixies or elves. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to show you everything. I see a bumblebee. I see another little lightning bug. Mushrooms, acorns. Cute. 
butterfly. So I don't know if this was fabric or if it was something else they bought and they re upcycled it. Oh, sorry. Start price. I got it at the bins, you guys. So a dollar. I got it just for those of you that love pixies, pixies or elves, whatever these are. It was at the bin. So it probably cost me like 50 cents, right? What is it? About two and a half feet by two and a half. I can measure it if you need to know exactly. Yeah, this is like a cotton blend, but the back is um, like a fleece. Okay, and I did soak it gently and put it in the dryer on very low heat just to take the wrinkles out, and then I put it outside. If you need to know exactly, I'm calling it two and a half by two and a half. Yeah, 28 by 28. <laughs> Do you want to see up close the pictures again? So cute. So if you're into your pixies and your elves, there you go. I got it for you. Oh, look, there's a caterpillar too. Okay. Little Ben's pick up, what, two weeks ago? Going once? <laughs> I, know, I was hoping you guys would like this. I even told you I'm getting this for you. I'll bring it to the next sale. Going twice? And last call. Last call. So it's some kind of like cottony material, real tight woven. You can see the stitching someone did on their sewing machine. It's not perfect, but it's such a cute little theme. And then they backed it with some fleece. You could probably use a clothes shaver on that fleece. <laughs> I did. And then I said, wait, is that Pixies? There's Becky, Vintage Viking Treasures. She was with me. But yeah, you could probably use a clothes shaver on the back of that. That would be cute turned into a pillow. Did we have it? Let me see. Greg called it. Is that it? Eliza? Sorry, I was talking. Eliza for 21. Okay. <laughs> Bringing in cat. All right, guys. This is a pair of gorgeous applique kitchen towels. And they are really, really pretty. They've got the... I don't think they were ever used. They are folded like so, so perfect. Um... But they're like your regular kitchen towel size. And it's a pair of them. These are also from the estate sale from George. And I'm going to start the pair out at five. And again, they do not look like they were ever used. Really nice kitchen towels with the yellow flower stitched. This lady, this lady. Any interest in these two at five? So hard. I need like, oh, Susan's interested at six. I need, I need like a bar to hang here and just hang stuff. They're really, really pretty. Yeah, they, they might be big enough to be made into pillowcases. Yeah. Because they're a pair. They're like open. They're your standard kitchen towel. So you could make them like a long or a smaller square um, towel. Or a smaller square pillowcase. Sorry. They feel like they're cotton, Gina. They're nice. She might have even stitched these. I have another pair of Huck stitch towels that are absolutely amazing that I might do here in a little bit. If no more interest, I will start counting these down for Miss Susan at six for the pair. Going once, going twice, and last call. Yeah, these are perfect for Easter coming up for sure. 
perfect, perfect. I'm just waiting on Greg to call it. Susan S for six. Perfect. Congrats, Miss Susan. Perfect, perfect. Yes, it's a great deal. Okay. There I am. Oh, so much cheese stuff. I don't know what to do next. Um, anybody interested in glass fruit today? I brought quite a few pieces. I thought we'd just do choice and you can pick what you want. If you're, I'm going to break it up because maybe you already have some and you're just trying to round out your set. So instead of selling them as a set. Okay. So I've got a banana, a tomato, a red pepper, a green pepper. I'm going to do this one separately because this one's a little different and I don't even know what to call this. Okay. Hang on. So let me put these on my board. We'll just do choice. You can pick which ones you want for whatever price that we're settled on. I don't know if this is going to work. I need one more hand for the banana. Hang on. <laughs> They're all glass. They're cute. Okay. There they are. So we'll start them at $4. They're all in great shape. $4. You get to choose what you want. And then we'll do, you guys are saying eggplant, and then we'll do the eggplant. So I've got a tomato, a green pepper, a red pepper that is actually red and orange. Okay, I'll show it singly. And then a great little banana. They're all glass. They're all nice. We start at $4. You can pick which ones you want at $4 each or whatever we end up at here in a moment. So you can have buy all of them for whatever or just pick what you want and we'll go to the next one. Yeah, this is a little precarious. Luckily, this is a Wilton cake, cake platter bottom cardboard that my friend Karen gave me specifically for doing these videos because <laughs> it's kind of thick and it's got the scalloped edges. I thought that was so sweet of her. There we go. Okay, so you see what I have? I'm going to Put that down because I want to show this one. This one is nice. Red to orange. And then the glass. This is kind of a clearish green. These are pretty decent size. This almost looks real. Like the if you don't go to Whole Foods or whatever. If you go to a conventional grocery store where they wax everything. That kind, of, kind of looks real. That's a that's a pretty one in my opinion. I have lucite fruit. Otherwise, I would keep these too. But I've been collecting lucite fruit. There's the green pepper. Nice little clear tip, clearish green. The tomato, so nice. There's the top. A really rich color. And there's the nana. <laughs> okay, let's see where are we at. Julie says um four ball. I was doing um choice, so I can't really backside, I can't really stop now. So you would put in your bid for how much you want, you know, and pick the ones that you she want. Put, she put $4. So she would get them at four for all of them for 20 at that's $4, right? That's a different Julie. That was Julie Walker. Oh, it's a different Julie. Oh, we have lots of Julie. Yeah, these are, these are kind of like, these are definitely to scale, aren't they? They're pretty thick walled, Sammy. I won't say they're heavy, heavy. They're hollow inside, but they're somewhat thick walled. They're not like going to break during shipping, but it is going to be. I don't, I, I think even shipping one of them, let me check. I think even shipping one of them by the time I protect it is probably going to get to priority. Bear with me while I check this on my scale for you guys. Oh, my bad. Let me try that again. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, 
claim. And I want to tell you guys, because I know shipping is important. I know taking shipping into consideration when you're bidding is important. I know that. So let's bear with me while I take a moment to... Sorry, I had something sitting on my scale, so now it's not happy. Dang it, stop. I need you to work. We're busy. Okay. All right, I got it. Sorry, you guys. I had something sitting on my scale this whole time. All right. Like this one weighs 11 ounces. So yeah, by the time I protect it and put it in a box, it's going to be just over a pound. Okay. So depending on where you're at, I'd say even for just one, it's probably going to come because of the price of shipping right now. It's probably going to be around $8. I am in the middle of the country, so to speak. I'm in Colorado. Um, sometimes... Sometimes you can put things like this in a small box and it will still fit into a padded flat rate envelope where it will be like eight something. So that's why I say, you know, and plus I will use the cheapest, the cheapest way possible. Okay, let me pay attention now and get this done. I've got tomatoes and peppers. So I've got a banana. You have both peppers. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So I think we're at four. Let me double check this. I think we're at four. Okay, I'm just going to call it going once, going twice, and last call. <laughs> going once, going twice, last call. Waiting on Greg. <laughs> The red pepper is cute, Julie. It's reddish orange. Item closed. Okay. Whew. So, sorry that was a little... I'm saying hold on and you can't hear me. My phone's chinging because this lady, I think, finally got what I meant and is sending me offers on my Ken Edwards. I can Edwards. Do you hear me chinging? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Right. I glitched. I hit the wrong button. Okay. See, that's why I hide my camera. Because <laughs> I know you do that to me and I'm like totally like doing something else. Sorry. Then they'll see I, my butt or something. But sorry, it wasn't my butt. You know, <laughs> you know, you I gave you my one and only seat for co host that be able to do stuff. Oh, did okay. you? Yeah, I gave it to you. So I don't know oh, what I'm not powers in that, that way. Huh? Man, I'm not signed in that way. I'll sign in that way next time. Okay. So okay, where are we at now? <laughs> Sorry, you guys. This is crazy. Okay, so where are we at? Help me out, Greg. I think we're at Julie Walker. Four dollars. Yes, Julie Walker, $4. And which one did you want? You wanted the pepper, Julie. Oh, hi, Richard. <laughs> hi, hi. Have a good evening, Richard. Okay, so Julie, you wanted the pepper. Did you want anything else? Sorry, you guys, I need to wait for Julie to answer. Just hang on a moment and we'll switch over to cat. The red pepper and the banana. Okay. Anybody want to add any uh, any of the, the tomato? Anybody want to add? It's okay. <laughs> Does anybody want to add the tomato? Okay. Um, or the green pepper for $4. If anybody else wants me to add this to their order or start them an open box, I will do that. Just let me know. Cat, 
I'm going to do one more, okay? I just needed to do it separately because it's a little more expensive. And okay. Unique. So at any time, if any, anybody wants me to add the tomato or the green pepper, let me know. Um, it'd be $4. So this one here is different, a different quality. You can see through it a little bit. Like I can see my fingers through it. It's crackled or stretched maybe and iridized. So a lot of you are saying, let's call this an eggplant. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> All right. So this one I want to start at probably like $8. This one's a little more unique. So if anybody wants to add this eggplant, we're going to call it for now. It is. <laughs> it's pretty with the kind of, it's not really crackle. It's kind of like a stretch, like the stretch faces are, but I, I don't, it might have its own name, but it's not crackle as in cracked all the way through, if you know what I mean. But it's got the nice oil spill. Let me back it up there. Nice oil spill. So this one I want to start at eight. Yeah, higher quality. Otherwise, I'm just going to take them to the booth. It is. Payday is next week. <laughs> it takes me a couple days to even send out invoices, so. Because it's a hoot. Okay. So, going once. Going twice. And last call on the iridized glass with a unique finish that I don't know what to call. And we decided for now to call this an eggplant. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, Julie, good. So both Julie's got one after all. That's good. So the banana and the red pepper for Julie and this one for Julie Thomas. Gotcha. I'll write that down. This one doesn't have a flat surface, so hang on. And I'll bring in Kat. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right, now I'm going to do it for real. Um, <laughs> this is a really cool Caro Nan purse. So this one is is definitely vintage. These are little picnic bas basket purses. This is the second one I've ever found. And it says smart set. It's got the choo-choo train. And this one is from New Smyrna Beach, Florida. You can see the Southeast Travel. And then it is signed Caro Nan on the inside. There's that. You see my husband's behind me. He brought me some rings. I'm going to do a ring coming yeah, up. Dude. Ocean Village Treasures. There, There's a little bit of staining at the bottom. I am going to start this one at... I'm going to start it at 10. I can't start this one at 5. These go for about 40 to 50. And this is a big one. This is not a small one. I would expect at it's least like 50 for this on eBay, but I will start it at 10. Yeah, that one's not more. So really, really cute. You can see Flagler Avenue, and then the bottom has the felt. I see Eliza at 10. It is very, very cute. I The first time I saw them, I thought it was just a picnic basket. And then I showed it like on my video and everybody's like, no, that's a purse. I'm like, okay. Um, so after my video premiere. 
Nine Yeah. I see Erica's fifteen dollars first. Yeah, these do very, very well. They're so cute. Like they'd be cute just sitting for decor. I see Eliza at twenty one. I love I love anything hand painted and vintage, and I love like my linens too. Yes, this is a really cute one. This one is like twice the size of the other one I found. It's really cute. And the paint's in really good condition. There's not like any marks. Uh, Miss Tiffany, I don't think I've seen you tonight. Tiffany De Palma comes in at 22. Really cute. I like the bottom. I don't think the other one had that. Do you see like the little lines for the grass? I feel like this one's a little more detailed than the other one. Yes, it really is, Sandy. It's so cute. It's so cute. There's the box. Now I just whacked myself in the <laughs> head with the lid. And then again, it is signed by Kiro Nan. All right. I've got Tiffany woo, at 22. I'm going to go ahead and then there's the top again, guys. It says Smart Set Main Street with the little train. So I'm going to start counting it down. I have Miss Tiffany at 22. So we're looking for more than 22. Going once, going twice, and last call. So cute. And I see item closed from Greg. I got to make sure I took stuff out of it. I had stuff in it. All right, Tiffany, congrats. That was awesome. Good time to come in. Good time to come in. Um, Hey, I pulled this from my booth. This was the last one left. Someone said they wanted one, and for the life of me, I can't find it. I think you messaged me somewhere besides sending the email, and I just can't find it. But anyways, the last of the deer slingshots, carved wood. So maybe you're here, and it was you, and you can send me that. All right, you guys. I'm, now, I don't know... I hope this is going to be okay with some of you. I don't want to put this on eBay. I don't want to take it to the booth, you know, just to be, you know, on the safe side. This word, really, the taboo of this word is almost over. They're going to be saying it on the news pretty soon. It's almost there. <laughs> Anyways, I bought this purse. Some of you did love it. So if you know anybody that enjoys this kind of sense of humor, there it is. <laughs> I paid five dollars for it. So, how about um, we'll start it at eight? <laughs> so, it's cute, it's got a back pocket, it's lined. If you want to use it for um, lunch, you can. It's like plastic lined, it's by Acorn Street. But if you have a little bit of a sense of humor, this is funny. <laughs> I think a millennial would really find this hilarious. <laughs> I showed it to uh, our eldest daughter, who's a millennial, and yeah, she was all about it. But anyways... <laughs> Just to be on the safe side, I I don't want to put it in my booth and I don't want to put it on eBay, but it's very clean. It's No one's used this. It's very clean. It still has the insert inside. There's no other pockets inside, but you can use this um, if you wanted to take your lunch in it. But, you know, depends on where you work <laughs> or where you work or go to school. I don't know. All these cuss words are just about getting normalized, which why not? They're just words. You can have bad intention behind any word, you know? So there it is. 
Oh, you guys are bidding on it. <laughs> yeah, it's gray plastic. Let me make sure the zipper works. That was the insert. But you know what? I didn't test the zipper, so hang on just one moment. Yeah, it works fine. <laughs> and it's got a back pocket. That's who made it. And so, here it is. Little tote bag or purse or lunch bag. Okay. Yeah, it's all about the intention. I could tell you, I could be like, go eat dirt. Well, I didn't use any cuss words, but it certainly wasn't very nice. <laughs> so, I personally drop the F-bomb quite frequently when I'm <laughs> talking. You can ask Becky. <laughs> I just don't do it, you know, in front of the general public because, you know, you try to mind your manners. But if it's just me and, you know, a girlfriend or my husband and we're venting, yeah, I... I'll drop the F ball. <laughs> okay, going once, going twice, and last call for this little fun thing. Oh, what do you mean you don't have friends, Sandy? <laughs> yeah, there's Becky verifying <laughs> how many times I drop the F bomb when we're chatting about stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Julie, just, oh, okay, but you, you got it anyways. Okay, 25. Okay, Julie, <laughs> thank you. Wait a minute. You're shocked, Thrifty Hippie. No, you're not shocked. <laughs> Let's see. Pound sand, take a, yeah, see, none of these are nice, right? <laughs> but, you know, when you want to put F, emphasis on something sometimes the the f bomb is one of the few words that are still like not pc i mean i hear them cuss even on the news on local networks now and on movies during prime time so it won't be long <laughs> i guess that word will be okay too let's see there was something i wanted to say um <laughs> yeah okay I have a, wait a minute, I have a t-shirt with that saying, yeah, <laughs> and I don't know, you might can go to that company, and maybe they make other things, I never went there, Acorn Street, okay, I'm going to write that down, Netflix is worth it now, oh yeah, oh, and you know, like, I watched Yellowstone, now that's a good series, oh my gosh, I love me some Yellowstone, Kevin Costner, that girl that plays Beth, oh my goodness, but they are actually overdoing the F word, it's, almost just like annoying but anyways blah 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 here comes cat thank you julie thank you i, I was hoping this would go to someone who would think it was fun there you go cat. hold on i'm here i'm searching to see how much i paid for this because i don't want to no. i don't want to lose money on it but i will start it at what i paid I'm hunting. I'm hunting. I just got this in the mail today. Where okay, I'm going to talk for a minute then. Wow, Julie, okay. really? The, the four sixes is real? Oh, my gosh. I love that show, by the way. Like, I used to watch Sons of Anarchy, and I would be, what would Gemma do? Now I'm like, what would Beth do? <laughs> That's All a right, great I'm good show. whenever. Okay, I want to be quiet and let Kat carry on. Okay, okay. All right, guys. This ring, I need to start it at 20. And I have to I have to show you. So I got this ring and the one I'm wearing, but this one was bigger than what I thought. And with my nursing, this is too high putting on gloves. Like it's just too much. This is a size seven. It is sterling silver. It is marked and it's purple. And I'm gonna I, I was messing around trying to figure out how to show you. And I think this is the best way. So if you see, sorry if I'm blinding anybody, let me raise it up. This is like a dark, deep purple. It's a gorgeous stone. And it is sterling silver, size seven. Really, really it's so hard to show on here because it looks black and it's not black. It is sterling. 
Oh, that's it's purple see. and sterling. I see the purple shining on my my hand. But it's it's very, very purple. It's so hard to show the purple. So hard. So I would need it's a very dark purple stone. There it is. It will fit on my ring finger if I want. So I would need to get 20 to start at size seven. And these, like, inside of the flower things are mirrors. Like, they're little tiny mirrors in there. It's really cool. Yeah, I had it for a minute. I had it for a minute. But, I mean, I think it would, like, depending on your finger size. I keep having to buy new rings because I keep losing weight. And so, like, I, I buy them on high bid. Um, so, that's just what I paid for it. Cause I got that one and then this one, but I like the, I like this one. I just, Oh, you can see the purple there. You can see the purple there. It might be, I don't know. You can see it there. I got to just tilt it the exact right way for you to see it. And I see Miss Julie at 20. It's really, really pretty. It's very well done. Here's this lady again. I see Bren's gems at 25. Oh, I had it. Oh, look. There, you can see that it's purple. Ha ha. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dark purple. Yeah, it's a really pretty dark purple. Now I have to stay really still. Um, it does have the rope around the edge. No, but here's the back if you guys want to see. That's the back. And you can see the purple through there pretty good too. It might be. I don't know, Sean. And then the 925. Is, this is not easy. Is there. See it? No other markings, only 925. That's the only marking on it. And it is a size 7. I checked it before. But. It is exactly a 7. Yeah, it's very, very good quality. All right. I see Bren's gems. At, you can see the dark purple there. Oh, I see Julie at 26. I'm try I got to keep that angle. To keep the purple. Lena, Lena, you're tea tiny. My sales today, guys, I am. Oh, I am over almost I'm close to eight hundred dollars in sales today. Today has been a good woohoo eBay sales day for me. And yesterday was five hundred. Ah, there it was. Like I gotta tilt it the exact right way. I see Brent Gems at 27. It's kind of like a star there. If you see it, see the cut? So hard. Yes, the mirrors are really cute. Like, they are legit little mirrors. They're little mirrors. That's because I, I sold a $200 Tiffany ornament and the lady that just bought the um, Ken Edwards spent like $300. I've, I mean, but I had I had quite a few good sales today. All right, guys, I'm going to start counting it down. Right now I have Bryn's gems. Oh, Julie just came in at 28. Dalton is inside with my 20-year-old. She's here from college. So he's inside with sister. All right, going once, and um, you guys that are, oh, Bren said she's out, so going once, going twice, and last call. Right now, I have Julie at 28. All right. All right, I'm closed. <laughs> Susan, that, Susan would need two because she has identical twins. Hello, 
Lisa. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm coming in. Okay. Anyways, you guys, thanks for telling me about the four sixes. I just, I didn't know that was for real. I didn't Google that. That's so fascinating. Okay, let's see. Where are we at? We're at an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, I better start picking out some of the really bigger pieces that I brought that I thought you guys would like. This is um, a nice piece of art glass. The bottom is somewhat polished. Well, it's smooth, but it's not polished. So I'm going to say this is probably, you know, probably um, Asian import glass, but it's beautiful. It's star shaped. It's got some confetti. Not, I don't feel comfortable calling that Millie Fiore. There was one of them. But, you know, it's not the highest grade. But I still thought this was really pretty for a dish, being the star-shaped. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. Some of that's kind of sparkly as if it's crystal. And then the white, all this is cased inside this clear. It's not painted wow. on. It's, it's cased inside, okay? Um, okay, anyways, this starts at 12. I'm going to call this an Asian import, but I'm not opposed to buying them when they, it looks like they spent a little bit more time on it or if it's a unique color palette or shape. So when did I say we're starting this one at 10? Let me get the measuring. 10 inches. It's about 10 inches across. And for any kind of shelf clearance, it's about three and a half. It's about three and a half this way. So Lisa's in at 12. It's kind of sparkly down in this area. And then it gets mottled. And then we've got some confetti. There's each star thing has the, where they pulled it out, has a um, clamp, little clamp you know, like the tool mold. The bottom is sanded down nice and smooth, so it will sit quite lovely, okay? Cindy's in at, 10, at 15. Okay, so it sets just fine, you guys. Okay. Any questions about it? about three and a half this way the longest points were about 10 ish and some really pretty colors going on in there a little bit sparkly more at the bottom as if it's like quartz crystal but you know it's just the look because this is just glass this is just art glass Yeah, that's Highway talking to Lucy, the dog next door, the bigger dog. All right, so Cindy's at 15, so we're going once, going twice, and last call. Night, Becky. Item closed. Cindy, thank you. I'll put your name on it. Okay, here comes Kat. Okay, I have an Uncle Ben's rice tin. Really cool. This one is from what, 1983. It's from the 40th anniversary. This is a really cool one. I got from Georgia's estate sale too. So if you like tens, it's set. And then on the bottom... It says limited editions specifically designed or specially designed for the 40th anniversary. And I'm going to start this one at five. Lena, I'm going to, I'm going to show Lena this ring too, to see if she's interested. If anybody's interested in Uncle Ben at five, 
Here is the fish ring with the orange stone, Lena, that's a size five. I don't want to focus. It's really cute. I think it's a fish. I think it's a fish. Might be a flower. I don't know. It's cute. It's size five. All right. Um, I do sleep. I do sleep. I promise. Let me get this spammer out of here. Done. Thank you. It's really cool. I like the graphic. Uh, my video will be premiering at 8.45. 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Gritty Gret, I'm starting it at five bucks. Five bucks. I see Brian at five. And let me show you guys the inside. There's the inside. So there is a little bit of rust, but I mean, it's a 40-year-old canister. So. so we're looking for six now, Gritty Gret. There's that side. And this might, I, this might go under a pound. This might go under a pound. I don't. So look, I'll show you guys the rings I have. I have this fish. This frog is cool. I have this frog, frog face. And then I have this fish or plant or whatever it is. Um, how big on this one is probably I didn't bring my tape measure. I would say eight inches tall by like six inches around. Big as my head. <laughs> so, big head. so probably eight inches. It's really well, it looks cool like one. eight or nine to me too. Yeah, I think it's like eight inches ish. Yeah. Ish. I agree. And it's got like the whole story of Uncle Ben's. Okay, Lena. It's head size. <laughs> I see Julie at eight. <laughs> hey, Cheryl. That's awesome. Congrats. Gotta keep listening. Make you some more money. Good job. Good All job, right, Cheryl. I'm going to start, start counting this down. Um, Julie, I have Julie at eight right now. If you bid, you can put a just in case. So going once, going twice, and last call. You have a couple of seconds before Greg calls it. So we're looking for 11 or more. There's item closed. Perfect. Lena Ray. It's probably going to say Lena Ray for 10, I bet. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Thank you, Greg. Okay, I'm coming in. Hey. This little kitty cat figurine, you can, I guess, call it a paperweight if you want. Three dimensional, frosted mostly on the front, clear on the back, and it is a Viking. Let me get the sticker to show. There you go. This is Viking glass. Little kitty. We started at six. Handmade Viking. It's cute. This is going to look Different depending on where you put it, how you might backlight it. Oh, there, here comes Jody. Jody loves history, glass, and cats. So, history, it's vintage Viking, it's glass, and it's a cat. <laughs> so, it's cute. So, this is going to depending on how you, where you put this, how you backlight it, it's how it's gonna look. It's frosted on the front, but you can see that its ears, its paws, its nose and its eyes um, were left clear. So. Where are we at? 
<laughs> That's okay, Gina. So we're looking for 16 or more. It's cute. I'll give you guys some measurements. What is that? About seven-ish, almost seven that way. And if you're going to stand it this way, it's about almost four for shelf clearance. Cute. All right. Going once. Going twice. And there's the Viking label. And last call. Three-dimensional little kitty. By Viking. And item closed. Cheryl, you foster cats and kittens. We have 14 right now. Woohoo. Okay, Jody, gotcha. $20. And we'll bring back cat. Thank you, Jody. All right. This is another one that somebody bought on my live haul and did not pay or did not reach out to me. This is an amazing art glass walrus necklace. Look at the top, the, the rainbow colors. Oh, that's cute. Oh my it's God. It's very cute. And it's got, hold on, let me show you. Hold on. I don't think, you get this necklace free that I don't think it's supposed to, I don't think it's supposed to be attached to it. I think you're getting a free necklace. I, cause I can't figure out how to undo it. I, I, I don't think it's supposed to be on this necklace. I think it's just supposed to be the pendant, but you can have the necklace that's with it too, with the pearls and the look at it, a free bonus necklace. And I'm selling the walrus. I love the walrus. He's super cute. There are no chips or anything. I'm going to just start him at five and there is the rainbow on the back is really, really cool. Really cool art glass. You could hang. This is something I think would be cool, like hanging from a um, like a car mirror, you know, like dangling a little walrus, or as like a little sun catcher too. I see Erica's five first, Miss Georgia. So you'll need to come at six. He's super cute. You got to get this other necklace off him though. Okay, he does his out. little tusks. Ah. Mm -hmm. Super cute. I see Susan S. at eight. His little tail curls back. Oh, cute. Come on, camera. I see Georgia's nine first that time, Erica. You guys are like at on point at the same time. I see Erica at ten. Gina, it's already so much to do this that it's kind of whatever. I can either list it on eBay or put it in a live sale. It's just like too much to try and do backup. It really is. It's hard. I see Erica 13. And the cool thing about this is, I'll show you guys. It comes with, trying to figure out how it goes. Hold on. It comes with its original like vintage styrofoam box that it like fits in perfectly. So like the styrofoam is cut out for him and then it has a top. I think I got him in there right. Um, Sean, so I've got somebody just bought the last four bowls. They bought four cups and they bought four saucers. So I still have the serving pieces left. Um, but all of the dinner plates sold out, all the salad plates sold out, all of the um, bowls are now gone. So about 90% of the Ken Edwards is sold. Sold. All right. I see Miss Georgia at 15. I feel like he's not in here right. All right, I'm going to start counting this down. I've got Miss Georgia at 15. So we're looking for 16 or more. Going once. Going twice. 
And last call. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to use some kind of clamp to get the ring off and you get this little necklace. I don't know what's going on here. I really don't. I really, really don't. I love, I love all sea things. All right, Miss Georgia got it. <laughs> At 15, perfect. Okay. I have a nesting hen. This is vintage, but it's more from, I'd say, the 70s, okay? And this one's different. This is actually by, I can't, I mean, I'm just going to show you. It took me a lot of research um, to figure this one out. But that's, it's a, what, they weren't in, in business very long, I don't think. But that was the import company, AA Importing out of St. Louis. And they got it from this brand, which I can't say, which is in Taiwan. So I don't know if they bought a mold or copied a mold, but it's a nice blue slag glass nesting hen. It's not Westmoreland. It's not Atterbury, anything like that. I'll show you because there, the H. And I knew it wasn't Heisey. I knew that. So, because that's not exactly how their logo is. So, but I finally, after a lot of research, found it. But that is their mark for this brand <laughs> out of Taiwan. So this is probably like from the 70s and imported by AA Importing in St. Louis. There we go. It's a nice blue sky blue and cloud slag glass oh i'm sorry this starts at we're probably going to start this at 15. it's on its way to the booth if nobody wants it here but that's a nice one lots of detail sorry that was loud it is a mold piece the basket weave I don't know whose mold that they copied or bought. But I liked the color of it. The sky blue and the white. Sundance is at 20. Yeah, this is a great color. So, And you won't find a lot by that company with that mark on it. I'll show you one more time. I don't know if AA importing out of St. Louis is still doing anything either, but that's the company they got it from. And that's their mark on the bottom. <laughs> but he's nice. He's, I know that's, that's loud, but he's okay, you guys. Yeah, it's okay. So, in the basket weave. Well, this one's a more unique one. I've sold almost all of mine. So blue and white slag. And that's their logo. So don't confuse it with anything else. I'll put that little tag in there so that you can remember. So we're looking for 22 or more. They're really cute. There's the marbled slag glass. A little bit of some kind of grayish black in there. Let me turn it around to the other side. Lots of feathery details. That might even be a couple eggs. Is that an egg there? That might even be an egg she's sitting on. <laughs> okay. Her beak is good. That's good. This is good. All right. Where are we at? 25. All right. <clears throat> going once. Going twice. Yeah, this one's a little different. If you're collecting these, this one's a little different. 
and buy a different company that's a little more rare. And last call. Pretty shades of blue and white, sky blue, like my background curtain there. Thank you, Lena. Thank you. It's egg adorable. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. So a lot of people collect these. This is a unique one. I don't know what happened to Greg, but there's Sean calling it. Okay, I'm going to put this information inside of it, okay? Because it was a little hard to track down. <laughs> okay, Kim, I got gotcha. you. Are you ready, um, Kat? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to bring I mean, you the, Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm ready. Okay, we're going to watch you figure it I out. Think I, I, I think I used this in my thumbnail. No, I didn't. Um, I got this at George's estate sale, and I think this is one of the favorite things that I found when I was there. And it is this wreath, which is so cool. Like, it's got a mama and a baby at the top. And then it's got all these other lovely ladies all around it. And I'm going to start this one at five as well. I think this is super, super cool. And it's probably about eight to ten inches Really, really cool. Worry dolls, Julie says. Worry dolls. I don't know. I haven't researched it. I just grabbed stuff I thought people would like for the sale. I haven't researched any of this. I'm being brave. They're really cool. There's the back. So it's like the ribbon wrapped around and then the dolls are made of the ribbon. Cynthia's in at five. I see, I see George's first. Do you see JGB first? Oh, I see Cynthia at seven. I don't know if it's Peruvian. Again, this lady traveled the world, guys. There, there was stuff from like every country there. It was insane. It does also, it has the hook there to hang it on the wall. Right behind the main lady and baby's head. And she has a basket on her head. I see Tiffany De Palma in at eight. This is just super cool. Hey, we're looking for 12 super, or more. Super. So cute. Yeah, that sale was absolutely amazing. I got so much good stuff. I sent, I trained a new lister today. My good friend, she's been my good friend for eight years. Um, she is going to start listing for me and I sent her with eight banker boxes full from George's sale. And that was after I had shipped out what people told me they wanted from the hall. Yeah, she probably had some amazing, amazing experiences if her stuff is any kind of. No, not Pepper. Pepper should work for me, Greg. Pepper should work for me. Pepper's been having a bit of a hard time, unfortunately. Um, Pepper's parents are both elderly and she takes care of them. So Pepper's been having a, a really hard time. I should ask Pepper if she wants to work for me. I should I should message her after this. Um, Lisa, I sold two earlier tonight. There were two. I picked up all the paintings George brought to Renninger's and Mount Dora. And then when I went to the estate sale, there were more mini paintings available. Um, and they sold to Susan. <laughs> Susan got most of them there. Um, I see Jody at 14. Miss Georgia coming right behind her with 15. So my friend works for the VA um, and human resources. And she knows how like overwhelmed I am. And the biggest thing I need help with is listing because obviously I like to source a lot. Um, and so she said, how can I help you? And I thought of Jocelyn and Dagny and how they trade off boxes because her and I live an hour and a half apart. And so today she came for about four or five hours and I... She already had watched my videos on how to list, so she had a pretty good, like, foundation. And then we listed two boxes while she was here, or she did, um, as drafts. And then she took eight boxes with her. So, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Miss Sandy. Okay, Sean. Ping, ping, ping. I don't know who that is. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and count it down. Right now I've got Miss Georgia at 15. So we're looking for more than 15. Going once, going twice, and last call. Yeah, hopefully I need, but see Pepper's so overwhelmed. I, I feel bad, I feel bad. Woo, I know what I see. Let's see what Greg says and calls. That was a close one. It was very close. Hello, Lori. Thank you for sending my stuff for me. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Lori's sending me some great stuff. Oh, hi. I'm going to bring us both in for just a minute. Hi, Lori. Thank you. Karen just left. Oh, good. Did Sarah ever make it? Or my cousin? I was going to call you later and say, hey, how's it going? Do, do I need to refer some more people or what? I just sold the Murano bowl I got from you. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you. I might talk to you later and see how it, how it's going, okay? You're very welcome, Miss Georgia. That's a gorgeous piece. That's it's it's one of my favorites I found. Okay. Um, I've got something kind of unique. So before and this I probably won't take to the booth. I'm probably gonna advertise if you guys don't want to get this, I'm probably gonna put it on Instagram. Because it's very vintage and there's not a lot of them left. You guys saw me get this, right? I was pretty excited. There we go. It's a cake stand, rotating. It's a vintage rotating cake stand that says happy birthday. And I'm going to start it here at $20. If there's no interest, I'm going to put it over on Instagram. It's kind of unique. And so I need to, I want to show it to the true vintage lovers. But it's really cute. Somebody put little decals on it. I don't think that's how it came. Here's the company. They put, you know how the Goodwills are. They put the stickers right over. So that's the best I could do. Let me read it to you. The Swiss something. Happy birthday cake plate. Is fully guaranteed blah, blah, blah. <laughs> But, oh, you know what? There's this one thing we should do. There's one thing I didn't do. Hang on, my bad. Let me set. Okay, this is barbecue chicken. I did munching on it. Let me make sure it still turns. Yes. I wanted to make sure. Oh, let's put something heavier. This is my mermaid glass. <laughs> So, yeah, you can put a cake on it, and it seems to be okay. It's cute. You just turn it like that. Don't overturn it, and it's got a little vintage switch on it. So, if anybody's interested in this, we're going to start this at 20. Other than that, probably in a couple weeks, I'm going to advertise it on, on Instagram to the hardcore vintage community. Oh, I know. Isn't it so cute? You could put some more decals on it, too, but they didn't do too bad of a job. That helps give it the vintage appeal, those vintage decals that have kind of turned a little yellowy. It kind of helps make it just all the more vintage. So if you're hardcore vintage, this is so cute. Okay. Let me see where we're at. I don't know if we have any action on this or not. Oh, we do. Oh, Sundance, this for you. You're local too. You don't have to pay shipping. 
hey, weren't you with me when I bought this? Weren't you? Did you see me buy this? I think you had just left. If you did, if you weren't with me, you had just left and go on down to the Ark, I think, or New Horizons, where I think you ran into Becky later. So, <laughs> okay, going once, going twice, and last call. Yeah, this is some hardcore, kitschy vintage. <laughs> okay, Sundance. Um, I'm assuming you just want to do a local pickup, right? I got you, girl. <laughs> oh, you saw it when, when I showed my haul, but that was the day that we ran into each other. Well, one of the days. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I don't know if... Cat. Oh, she is back. Okay, I was going to do another one. There's Cat. All right. This is from Georgia's Estate Sale, too. I think almost all of this stuff is from Georgia's Estate Sale. These are really cute. This is a set of three nesting baskets, and they've got the watermelon. I, I don't know if these are cherries here. And then on the end, they have grape clusters. These are super, super cute. And there is a set of three. So the biggest is like your regular like casserole size, I feel like. And then they they don't look like they were ever used. So there's three of them. They're really, really cute. And I'm just starting them at $5. I don't even know what I paid for them. I don't even know. Don't even know. Sorry, I'm at $5. But they're really cute woven. This lady had some really cool stuff. I see Lorray at five, and it is for all three. And they they really they really don't look like they were. A lot of her stuff didn't look like it was used. She had a lot of stuff. Yes, the camper, like yeah yeah for sure, like carrying stuff. This would be cute, like to put little even little snacks in this to carry. If only I had time to carry little snacks, but I don't. Yeah, a summer tiki bar too. Yes. They're so cute. And like you can see, like there's no marks. Like I think they sat there as decoration. Lucinda, I do not have time for a spreadsheet. I do not. Um, I need to talk to Vinny. I need to talk to Vinny. There's the grapes. I don't keep Lucinda one either. I, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't have time. Maybe I should create some software for us live sellers. Uh, PayPal pretty much keeps it and so does pirate ship. But see, I don't add the address in the PayPal that I ship to. And a lot of times I don't add the email into, um, yeah, I add all that in pirate there, so ship, but I it. should, I should. Yeah. Cause it'll keep it all for right. us. There's the third one. I see Lorray at seven. Um, I think they all have the same fruits. They all have the same fruits, just closer together. Like the fruits are even the same size. So like, this is the small and the medium one. Uh, Sandy keeps track of me of the sales. Um, I could, but I like, I don't do them enough. I really only do them like twice a month. Yeah. So they're all the same fruits. They're all little replicas of each other. Little replicas. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down for the three baskets. I've got Lorraine at seven. So we're looking for eight or more going once, going twice, and last call. Yeah, maybe I'll create, I, I don't know. I'll figure something out. 
Oh, Cindy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to let Greg call it. Mm. We'll let Greg call it. Look, I could be like, this is my fruit basket. I'm the one messing my hair up. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree. That was really tough, but Lucinda. Yeah, that's what that's what I see as well. That's what I see as well. <laughs> that's cute, cat. <laughs> Mess my own hair up. I I'm, I'm so like on the fence because I want it to be like crazy bright for the retreat. So, which is still 2 months out. So I'm like, do I go get it now or do I just let it just keep fading until the I might I'll probably just keep let it fading until the retreat and I then would. I'll get it done right before if the retreat. If it's just it's two so months, expensive. I would. It's so expensive. Okay. Um well, we're getting close to wrapping it up. Um, I've got a few critters left. I've got some jewelry. Yeah, I mean, I've got stuff. I did my premiere at 8.45, so we would have a little more time. Because okay. George runs over the 30 minutes, so everybody was telling me I was overlapping. So, Yeah, I usually stop. I used to stop and go watch George, but I'll just catch it later. Okay. Very kitschy. Salt and pepper shakers made out of wood. This is metal s and p's plastic right pa plastic rhinestones or my minute plastic bezels for the eyes and it's got some little whiskers and a little piece of leather <laughs> for its tails and cork stoppers these are everything if you ask me <laughs> these are so cute i would be tempted to keep these but of course you know what's going on in my house smiley faces my husband's got me a bunch of smiley face. These are adorable. We're going to start these at 10. Carved wood, kitty cat, salt and pepper shakers. This is little metal emblems. This is wood, plastic bezels, some kind of whiskers, leather tail, cork bottoms. Super cute, right? Yeah, I brought some kits tonight. I sure did. <laughs> Oops, I'm trying to. There we go. I'm working on it. Right now I have so many, Sean, that it's just kind of a mess. So if I can get caught up, I've been promising to show them all off. Between, between my collection, which started before I was even on YouTube, and y'all sending me things, and my husband started about a year and a half ago, almost a smiley every day, and he's bought me some epic stuff, and I've gotten some epic stuff sent to me. So, anybody interested in these little cutie pies? We're starting these at 10. Ooh. Okay, let me check them over. I just dropped them. We lost a cork. Let me check the ears. Oh, I'm sorry, babies. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're all good. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Can't read the chat. I have to, it's like being on Survivor. I have to totally focus on this thing. There we go. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Julie Thomas is at 12. I can't read the chat, you guys. I'll drop these again. <laughs> Let me hold them like this so I can read the chat, too. Okay. So, do you need me to go over it again? Little wooden kitties. Plastic bezels and beads. This is a little piece of metal. Cork bottoms. Leather strip tails. And some kind of hairbrush or bottle brush whiskers. There's the holes. Okay. So going once. Going twice. And last call. Sorry I dropped them, but they're okay. Now it only has eight lives, yeah. Be careful. 
We're down to eight. That's right, Lorraine. <laughs> Item closed. Sorry about that. It's all good, though. Let's see what we have. It's waiting for Greg to call it, and then we'll bring Cat back in. I think I see Hudson 15. Thank you. Wait a minute. No? Yeah, Hudson. Thank you. Okay, Cat. Bring it in your pretty face. Okay. I saw Sandy say the blue tote. I gave you guys some options in the chat. So this, again, looks like it has never been used. It's a really cute little tote with the flowers, the butterfly, and it looks like a lotus flower there on the bottom. And again, started at five. It's about probably about 12 by 12, to be honest. But it's really cute. It's I'm fairly certain it's brand new. And this will be really light, or if you bid on anything, like this isn't going to cost any more in shipping. So this would be a good add-on for $5. It's really cute really cute. My hair again. I see Luray at five. It's really cute. This would be cute for like the beach or like to put like sunscreen and stuff or even like your like shampoo and stuff for a trip. See Miss Georgia at six. And it is the same um, pattern on both sides. And it's got the little fringes on the bottom. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. I have Miss Georgia at six right now. So going once, going twice, nothing's inside. It's just one layer of fabric and last call. Yes, my premiere will be in 15 minutes. Thank you, Lucinda. I appreciate that. Bye, Gina. Bye-bye. All right. I see Greg said Miss Georgia got it at $6. Perfect. Congrats, Miss Georgia. It's a cute little bag. Cute little bag. I think I'm just going to do one more. That yeah, if I can do one more minutes. after you, then yeah, yeah, then I'm I'm good. Can we do one and one more? Yeah, you need a few minutes, but you know, to re do something before you have to jump right back into your. No, I'll probably just stay in the shed, so I'm okay. Okay. Um, I've got quite a few cute things left, but I'm just gonna pick the last one. This I'm gonna pick something really kind of crazy. I don't even know anything about it except it, it's just too cute. It's just a little metal chickadee bird. So this won't be very much to ship, or if you want to add it on to something you bought, it doesn't hardly weigh anything, maybe like three ounces. <laughs> but it's so cute. Just a little metal craft bird. I don't know what you could put in it. You'll figure it out. little succulent or air plant. It's got some different kinds of metal. I didn't scrub it or anything. I left the patina on. You guys, can, whoever buys this, can do what they want. But it's just so cute. Did I say started at $2? It's just a very funky cute. <laughs> I don't know if you're into boho or steampunk or... No, Cindy, just send me, letting me know what you bought if you don't mind, but I've got your information. It's, I don't know, it won't hold a big Easter egg. It'll hold a quail egg, but it's just too cute. It's from Mexico, Heidi. Okay, it's cute. You had an ashtray. 
Bobby's in at five. I'm going to go ahead and count this down. <laughs> Bobby's in at five. It only weighs about three ounces. So I, adding it to your order won't really make a difference in shipping or to ship it to you. Probably like if this is the only thing you bought, probably like four dollars, four twenty five. So going once. <laughs> He's just cute. No marks. Oh, wait a minute. There is a mark on it. My bad. Hang on, you guys. Let me see what that says. Hang on. I peeled the sticker off today, but I didn't bother scrubbing it. And I guess I didn't notice that. Hang on. We might get lucky. Yeah, Mexico. <laughs> Good call, Heidi. Mexico something. Awesome. What did the ashtray look like? Okay, anyways, going once, going twice, and last call. Was the ashtray um, bird-shaped? Yes, Miho, I have your info. Item closed. All right, Bobby, I'm going to add that in. <laughs> so cute. Okay, here comes Kat with her last item, and she's going to go on to her video. Hanging up, I think. Tom, okay, Kat. Hold, hold on one second. Tom, Tom. Okay, she's working something out. Hang on, you guys. I'll sell one more item. Some little cat laser-cut metal cat earrings. Let these focus, because these are adorable. The cat, these are laser cut metal of some type. There's a cardinal in the tree. The cat's looking out the window. Aren't those adorable? The ta is that like a tabby with the white? Just start these at $5. I'll do this while she's handling her business, whatever it is. Aren't those so cute? I'm getting the ruler out. So the earring part is about what? An inch and a half? But the total drop will be about two. These are adorable. I couldn't find any markings on them, but I'm like, they're going to like these. It's a silver, silver tone, matte silver tone. Look at that little cat. And then the cardinal. How did they get that detail? Looking out the window on a tree. Super cute. You can change those backs if you need to, if you don't like that kind. All right. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like these. I knew you would. I was going to save them for the jewelry sale, but I brought a few pieces of jewelry with me. Super cute. Going once. Going twice. And last call. That's some serious detailing. <laughs> Oh, does that look like Tiffany's cat? Does she have a black tabby? Thank you. Those are Kiss Press-Ons, Lucinda. Y'all know I use the Kiss. I glue them on. Jody, 16. Okay. So that would be my last item, and here comes Cat with hers. Sorry, guys. I was no, My husband was trying to take my car and I had the key in the pocket of my pajama pants when I'm not leaving. Why I would, so he like searched the whole house and it was in my pajama pants pocket. I don't, I don't know why. So this is my last one. Again, if you have got anything from me, this is not gonna add to the shipping. This is an amazing uh, enamel on copper brooch. And I am a big purple fan, purples, blues, and greens, if you can't tell by my hair. Um, this one is not signed. This is a very, very pretty piece. I'm going to start it at five. And again, if you got anything, this thing is an ounce. It's not going to cost any more in shipping. So, and it's right at two inches is how big this one is. So it's really pretty. Reminds me of others again. I love like the feathery looking stuff. Really pretty. Yes, Lucinda, I love purple. Purple and blue and green. I 
see Lucinda at six. Anybody else? Oh. All right. So in the name of time's sake, I see Jody at seven. I am going to go ahead and start counting this down since I slowed us up with my key issue. So going once, going twice. And if you're an active bidder, you can do it just in case. And last call. We're looking for eight or more before Greg puts it in. We're looking for 10 or more. Eleven or, or we're looking for twelve or more. I don't think Ray Ray meant that. I think she meant eleven, so I'm saying twelve or more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I won't argue, but did you, if you meant ten, you don't have it. If you meant eleven, you have it. Yeah, hurry, Ray Let Ray, Ray, Ray clarify. Oh, item closed. I called it as 11. I don't know how. I'll let you guys. I don't know. <laughs> Lucinda and Ray Ray. Lucinda yeah. may not like that. But. Lucinda had 10 first. So if Ray Ray meant 10, then it's Lucinda. But well, if Ray Ray meant 11, it's Ray Ray. Ray she Ray meant 10. So it's okay. Lucinda at it's 10. Lucinda at 10. Thank you, Ray Ray. That was honest of you. Thank you, love. Thank you. <laughs> thank you okay i think we better let cat go if you guys want to hang around for just one more minute i'm going to give away this little teddy bear okay but we'll let cat go yeah and i will once you guys are done here with yvonne i will drop my link in the chat to my premiere it's a really short one it's i think under 20 minutes which is rare for me i normally do 25 or 30 minutes it's a thrifting video with a haul. I went thrifting yesterday and found some really cool stuff. So I will drop that in. And yeah, so good luck to you guys winning the bear. <laughs> and I will see you over on my premiere. Thanks for coming, guys. If you haven't emailed me yet, please email me, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. Even if you bought for me before, because I have 5 million things going on, it's just easier for me. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on my premiere. Yvonne, thank you for having me on. Oh. I think I looked, let me look again real quick before I run and tell you the date for next of month. the next sale. Let's see. So it will be March 9th. March the 9th. Okay. And I'll put out, yep. I'll remind you guys a couple days before we'll start reminding yes. you guys. Cats Wednesday off for next month will be the second That's Wednesday. Awesome. It looks like March the 9th. Yes. All right, Bye, guys. We'll see, we'll see you in a few minutes, Kat. I'm going to do this yes, giveaway. <laughs> right. Bye, sweetie. All right, you guys. Um, I'm just going to do this giveaway real quick. You guys know I, I have say pick a number. I don't have anybody to pick a number for me, so I'm going to write one down. There's 93 people left. Don't put in the number 88. Do not put in the number 88. For some reason, YouTube won't allow it. Okay, I'm going to write a number. Um... Fold it in half. It's right there. <laughs> okay. It's just a little Valentine's gift. It's this velvet box. I think this might be somewhat vintage. And it has this little glass teddy bear in it. Little glass teddy bear. So you guys put in, only enter once. Put in a number between 1 and 93. Just once. Just one number. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Enter one time. Pick a number between 1 and 93. Do not put in 88. It's some kind of YouTube doesn't like it, gang related, whatever. So, and I'll send you this little. You can read it. I don't know if I can get it there by Valentine's. Maybe if I hurry. If I hurry, then you can give it to someone else. I think it's slightly vintage, too. It'll come in its own little box. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes before I say stop. Only put in one number. A gift of love. My gift to you is my love given deep within my heart. The special love will never end even when we're apart. Oh, that's so cute. So you could even give this to like a family member, like a daughter or whatever. All right. 
you guys, just to cover the lag for anybody who's late, I'm fixing to say stop. <laughs> stop entries. Okay, I'm putting it in. You've got two seconds if you have not entered yet. Put in one number. Yes. No, I pay the shipping. No, I pay the shipping. It's a gift. It's first class. Okay, I'm going to put in stop. So anything after this is too late, you guys. Okay. The number is 62. Did anybody hit 62? If not, we'll start looking for the closest. Did anybody hit 62? <laughs> You're okay, Kara. Did anybody hit 62? Okay, we're going to see if there's a 61 or a 63. You guys think the closest is 60? I'm looking. I'm double checking. Lori Jean had 60. Is everybody cool with that? Everybody cool with Laura Jean? I am, if you guys are. <laughs> Everybody stay in you, Laura Jean. Okay, there it is. Thrifty Rich Club at Hotmail. Send me your info. I'm paying shipping and everything. Thank you, love. Thank you for coming. Thank you all. I'm going to grab a little snack, and then I'll see you over at Cat's Premiere. Thank you guys so much. My next sales with Stephanie on my channel on the 20th. I'll remind you a couple days before, and it's going to be jewelry. I've got some good jewelry for you guys. You're going to like it. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Greg. Go follow him on Instagram if you want to see the craziest bolos. I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye. I'll see you in a few minutes over at Cats. <laughs>